Well, hi everyone. Thanks for joining me at Four Men Ministry today. If you can please like this video, subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Not for my sake, but so we can share the word. I'm not here for followers. I'm here for my fellow followers of Jesus. And that's what we're here for, right? The word says to preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. So this is the preparation. This is how we practice. So this is real. This is practice. Here we go. Something that the Lord has been speaking to me about over the last month or so is about faithful. So good old Webster's 1828. Faithful means firm in adherence to the truth and to the duties of religion. Now, I don't like the word religion because it's religious, but it has a connotation of legalism, right? Of having this checklist of these do's and don'ts that we have to do out of obligation. That's not what it is. The word says that God's kindness leads us to repentance. So it's about the relationship, the turn, right? So let's replace that. Firm in adherence to the truth and to the duties of being a follower of Jesus. Just following Jesus. That's what we're called to do. And love Webster's because it quotes Revelation 2. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. This is the faithfulness we're talking about. Be thou faithful unto death, that continuation. It also means firmly adhering to duty. It means loyal, true to allegiance. It means constant in performance of duties or services, exact in attending to commands like a servant. And it means constant. And I really want to focus on that last piece, the constant in performance of duties or services. When Jesus came to earth, he said, I did not come to be served, but I came to serve. If the God of the universe came to earth not to be served, but to serve, what does that say about us? We absolutely should be serving one another. And faithful is constant in this performance of service. There is no one more faithful than God. If you know of someone, let me know. I have not found anyone more faithful than Jesus himself. And there honestly isn't. He is the only one who will never let us down. Now, it's not us telling him what to do. It's him telling us what to do, right? So we can't have expectations that are unrealistic or that he didn't even say and then get disappointed and say, God's not faithful. That's not what we're talking about here. We are talking about the faithfulness of God, how faithful he is to his word, to his promises, to everything that he says he's going to do, it gets done. The word says that his word does not return void. It doesn't come back to him empty. It does what he says it will do. And this is how faithful our God is. In my life, I have seen the faithfulness of God. I have seen it firsthand. He is so faithful. And for me, finances is a big thing. I have not had to worry about anything. God just takes care of it. And I used to think that people were crazy who said, oh, God will provide. And they just trust God that he's going to provide. But it's true. God will provide. And it, it doesn't become personal until you experience it for yourself. So I want to talk about 2 Timothy 2, verses 11 to 13. This is out of NLT. It says, this is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, Jesus, if we die with Jesus, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will reign with him. That's that Revelation 2, right? If we deny him, he will deny us. This is the choice. Verse 13, if we are unfaithful, he remains faithful for he cannot deny who he is. God is faithful. How do we have this personal experience of God's faithfulness? You just got to walk with him, walk with Jesus, follow him. Find out that when hardships come, he is faithful and press into the faithfulness of God. Now, this is simple. It's not easy. But I would encourage you, press into God's faithfulness because he will not let you down. Love you with the Jesus love.